Pokemon League is gonna be awesome! Yeah, it sounds like fun! I'll win it all! No, she won't, cause Guzma, leader of Team Skull, is about to put this poor trainer through hell. And they let us know off rip what the tone of this battle finna be. Ref starts with, now you two, I want a fair battle. And Guzma shrugs it off. As a nonchalant myself, I've seen this before. This shit means, yeah, I, AK, I'ma do whatever the fuck I want. And God save us from what he wants to do. So the battle begins and nothing happens. You might be thinking, wheezy, relax, but they're just feeling each other out. That's what I thought. But something is wrong. Everyone and they mama knows that Galisopod's whole thing is around first impression, an undodgeable priority move that can only be used at the start of battle. This is his hardened step back, his la fuck you three, his Pikachu Thunderbolt. We saw him use it the first time he battled Ash and it is literally free damage. So that begs the question, Wheezy, why didn't he do it? What is the holdup? Let's get this battle rolling. And to that, I say my people, he was cooking up something far worse. Lana decides to make the first move and instructs a sparkling Arya. And instantaneously, Guzma responds with a throat chop, canceling the move and landing first. Y'all are not deeping what bro just did. Throat chop is a dark type move, actually making it not very effective due to Primarina's fairy typing. So why use it? The secondary effect prevents the target from using sound based moves such as Sparkling Aria, Primarina's ace move. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call fucking cinema. This is a high ladder play. Look at the bruising, she really hurt it. And trust me, he could have first impressioned and done this shit after. But nah, he had to set the tone. Lana tries to rebuttal this insane start by using Aqua Jet, and Kuzma asks Kalisopod to simply stop it. Not dodge it, not counter it, just grab it. The epitome of disrespect. He ate it like a simple tackle. He then responds with Poison Jab. Not the little Poison Jab Krogunk used to do every time Brock got horny. I'm talking pincers, piercing the body, poisoning the shit out of Primarina. Super effective and dropping her like she's one of Andy's little toys. I mean, we've seen Guzma battle before. Like just in the previous round, he was up against a Mega Kangaskhan and he purposefully had his scissor position himself in front of the Mega Kangaskhan baby so that the back Kangaskhan would hesitate to throw any of the moves just for scissor to hit him with that. <laughs> but Guzma hadn't seen enough damage. He said, nah, pick up her limp body off the ground and poison jab her again. He battling like one of us, like this is the video game where we just spamming. Lana asked Primarina to desperately icy win just to get out of the bind and backed up like she was scared prey on the verge of death. Poisoned, hurt, unable to use her signature move all in the opening minutes. Crazy part about this whole thing is somehow Guzma is the one tripping. What the fuck are you doing? Poison jab again. My nigga. Chill. Yeah. He goes for more and Lana reacts with another icy win. This is Loki perfect because it's creating a smoke screen and slowing down Galisopod just enough to open up an opportunity for Primarina to Aqua Jet through and finally- Galisopod froze his pincers with the icy wind and used a frozen poison jab on Primarina. This shit has surpassed the realms of humaneness at this point. And you know it's extra cooked because Lana then says- Run Primarina! Run? Where? You are in a stadium in a playoff battle. Where the hell are you supposed to go? This is delusional desperation. Just FF gang. Guzma is relishing this whole situation talking about not so fast. And don't ask me how, but that sentence was enough for Galisopod to know that it's time for a motherfucking Nelson hole. You can't teach those. This is pure chemistry. And who would like to guess what move this guy follows up with? Wow, yeah, this, this, this is assault. Just mercilessly repeating this shit over and over. Guys, gang so excited they started throwing their sets. Maybe Lana's the problem, my friends. And maybe she's just so cheeks that she's making this gang lord look like red. Well, that's what I would say. But you want to know the last thing Lana did before entering this tournament? She went fishing. Wait for it, wait for it. She didn't just catch any fish. She caught the fucking fish, a fucking Kyogre in Alolan waters. Does it make sense? Who cares? She caught it, then set it free like she an Animal Crossing. Put down the rod and pull out an Ultra Ball, bruh. You could have crunched this whole tournament. Ref even watching like, shit, I could really stop this shit. Technically, he ain't cheating. And Loki, it's kind of entertaining. Hey, 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 I'm just doing my job. Lana tries for Icy Wind again, like dog. This is bagless battling. Your shit is not working. And your Primarina is squealing. <laughs> Squealing to the point that Guzma got insulted. Like, did I just hear your bitch ass sea lion scream in pain after I put her in scream inducing pain? Throw chop again! And shut your bitch ass up! Sister, pack it up. Mid battle, Guzma looking up at his number one Octokui. Like, I know you're corny ass seeing this shit. While you're doing your little Hannah Montana bullshit, this what I be on. And you're next. Big Guzma fuck, nigga. And I'm thinking, damn, he talking heavy. Why they beefing like this? So I had to investigate. Turns out they were both students of Hala back in the day. Except Guzma. Always, always lost to Kakui whenever they trained. And 
Kakui, Mr. Ideals and Virtues and shit, would hit him with condescending remarks like, You're getting much better. Like he's spitting, but on God, nobody's trying to hear that right now. But Guzma took it to another level. Bro completely crashed out and decided to lash out at the idealistic teachings of Hala and his teacher's pet Kakui and turned his back on not only them, but everything that makes Alola Alola. Like the island challenge and Z moves in their entirety. Instead, he went and started a gang and called himself Guzma the Undefeated, where he had all these grunts on his meat. Yay, Guzma, yo! Ironically, bro been a fraud this whole time and covered his life as a perennial loser by only challenging people weaker than him to keep his perfect win record. So clearly he's got some trauma to be living a lie like this. So when the pure-hearted rival who was better than him already decides to pull a Mr. Beast and make the first ever league for fun, of course he was burning. So that brings us here with him competing to destroy it from the inside out. And who has to catch the bad end of his fury? Lana. How Primarina hasn't fainted yet, by the way, is beyond me. Matter of fact, excuse me y'all, let me check something real quick. Uh, games, not the anime. Games, not the anime. Games, not the anime. Game. Crowd cheering her on like she got a chance. These are L mans. Nigga like me would have been in there like, quit, quit. I see the script. All right, get away. FF. The life spot then goes for pin missile and Lana counters with surf. So we had surf this whole time, as close to a sub for sparkling Arya as it really gets, and we've been fucking around with aqua jets and shit on a mon that wants us to get in close. Lana, you pissing me off. She redeemed herself a bit though, cause Galisopod's feet have frozen into the ground because of all of them lingering icy winds. I'm like, hold on, let me, I'm gonna let it rock for a sec. And takes this chance to put it all on one last gambit, her Z move. Oceanic Operetta. A move that will not only heal her throat, but is also essentially her alt. Can't lie, Guzma is anti Z move, so I'm interested how he works with this. Honestly, I can't really blame him, because could you imagine Guzma doing that little ballet routine that you gotta do before the Z move? But well, Primarina cooks up this aqua spear bomb, and I've seen this before. That shit is dangerous. Galicepod might actually go out like boo. But Guzma had other plans called for liquidation and glycopod pulled out a motherfucking sword and cut the z move in half sent the damage back to pre marina caused rain to fall on the arena and left her laid out poisoned soaked and finished guzma then walked off without so much as a handshake or even a head nod looking at kakui one more time like i know you saw that you bitch ass boy don't act like i ain't coming for your ass next yeah she never did come for that ass that's neither here nor there and there you have it bit of a shorter video today just to see how y'all like it if you liked what you saw make sure you subscribe and vote on the community poll to let me know what you want to see next i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video i hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes the diamonds they hit like a rainbow that's because the necklace of frank her whoa whoa